Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kerry Sullivan with RockstarTriathlete.com coming at you with some more tips that you can use for training for your sprint triathlon. One of the biggest mistakes I see a lot of athletes go out there and make is they do a super long taper going into a sprint triathlon, talking three, four weeks. And that is more designed for an Ironman athlete. But you're doing a sprint triathlon, so doing that same type of taper is gonna leave you pretty stale and stagnant going into that race. So really don't think of tapering until about a week out before that race. The second thing I would also say in the week leading up to the race is definitely lay off the plyometrics and pumping iron or hitting the weights. Uh, your body takes time to recover from those workouts. It can take up to seven days to fully recover from those. So you don't want to be going into your race any more worn out than you should be. So you can go out there and absolutely crush it <laughs> come race day. And the last little tip that you can do is what is called a sugar rinse. And a sugar rinse is when you get a little bit of a sports drink in your mouth, just, uh, just a little bit of a taste and then you spit it out. When you're doing it in a sprint triathlon, you don't need a ton of nutrition in terms of sports drinks and other things to supplement yourself when you're out there in your race. But a little bit of a sugar rinse has actually been shown with cyclists to help improve the imp performance significantly in recent tests that they've done. So just a little bit of that taste in the mouth might do you some good, just a little spit right out on the ground, make sure it's not on your competitors, and that should help you guys go out there and have a great race. That's all I got for you. Again, this is Kerry Sullivan with rockstartriathlete.com. If you like this, feel free to pass it on, and other than that, rock on. Bye-bye.